Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Meat Boy. This is episode 20 and in the last video uh, we started chapter 2 the hospital in the dark zone and we unlocked the warp zone here, finished that off and now we're going to move on starting with level 7 here. Alright. Hopefully we continue uh, making it through these levels as quickly as we have been. It's, uh, it's been doing fairly well. So we got these guys again. Um, remember him, them from the last... Uh, in the light world rather they're never any fun but oh almost slid right into that guy that wouldn't have been good okay I always love the well, I don't know if it's really love I'm kind of using it as a uh, sarcasm there the levels where the everything's black and you can't really differentiate between me boy in the background um, it always ends up kind of just throwing me off. There we go. We made it past that part. I didn't even see that guy there, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's do this more. I don't know how I slid into him. Oh, well. That's okay. Alrighty. I'm going to spend all the video on this level, right? Uh, that would... That would be something new. <laughs> I keep getting caught on that, uh that ledge sticking out I just have to be more careful and make sure that okay, that I don't get caught on it as I continue to do so anyway all right slip past him and that time we got killed by that guy all right so we're off to the good start here but not a problem okay, let's wait and die anyway Okay. I didn't expect to be caught up on the first level, so I'm kind of like, oh, is the first level really gonna give me so many problems? Aggravate me to this point? I can't let it defeat me. All right, you know what? I think I'm just gonna play the safe route there and just go uh, up above. It may take a few more seconds, but. As long as we're quick enough in the rest of the level, it really shouldn't hinder our A plus ranking. Just concentrating because I wanted to make sure I made that jump. All right, and we got bandage girls glitching. Uh, there's a there's a bandage over there, but I want to make sure I grab the glitch on there so that I don't screw it up. Because I'll end up messing it up and then having the I'm just gonna kill myself three times here. I would end up messing up the jump for the bandage and then missing the opportunity to get the glitch world in chapter two. Like the like I said, I don't I don't plan on doing the glitch zones right away. And we got the A plus ranking, so at least we don't have to worry about that. I don't plan on doing the glitch zones right away, but um in the future I may do them after I actually complete the main game and the uh cotton alley. Well I guess maybe that's part of the main game, but you guys know what I mean. But yeah, I'm, I've been walking out getting them because, I don't know. Well, like I said, when I played the Xbox version, I didn't have, it took me forever to just get one of them, let alone two of them already. Alright, so we got the bandage. That was relatively easy. After I stopped being an ass and actually worked towards it. How did I die there? Can you go up and around here? It looks like you can. It looks like the jump's a little difficult, but definitely looks like it's possible to fit up there. And if it is, I plan on taking advantage of it. Alright. Oh. I always forget, um, I, I think I said this in another video, but I'm always holding the run button almost 90% of the time. At least 90% of the time. So, uh, when it comes to jumps like these, I always forget to just let go of the run button. Because, or sprint, or whatever you want to call it. Because it makes making pinpoint jumps like that all the much easier if you let go of it but for some reason my brain just doesn't process that and I want to just keep holding it because like I said a hundred times before in this uh, Meat Boy is all about speed I don't know why I can't even make it up that hallway there I keep dying to something and I have no idea there we go and I screwed up the wall kick off the hanging platform okay get up here make that Alright, all third dissolvable platforms. I did not realize that. 
Oh, that'll make this much better and easier to accomplish. Make it so that the platforms we're trying to land on here aren't going to be there that long. So after I wall kick on them, they're pretty much going to be gone. So I can't land on them again. Alright, so this jump's not that hard. You just have to make sure you time it right. If you land right on the edge here uh, and then start holding sprint again, it's not that bad. You just have to make sure you hold, at least for me, you just have to make sure I hold, or I just have to make sure I hold sprint again because I don't know. The jump seems like it's much easier to accomplish if you have the sprint button held in. Alright. Come on, just grab that ledge. There I go, forgetting the let go of sprint while I'm up there. And then just use it again when I get down there. Or when I get, get on there. Like that. Okay. That time we didn't even have to wall kick. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. Um, we have some time to kill, I'm sure. And I... <laughs> I got overzealous there because I knew the platform that I was standing on wouldn't be there the whole time. So I ended up screwing myself over by jumping up too fast. Alright, let's just do that. Alright, we did it. That wasn't too bad. I'm, I'm making these levels a lot. Was I just... Yeah, I was just standing in the death blood, wasn't I? I don't know how that worked. That's definitely interesting. <laughs> Glad to see that uh, you can do that. Alright, that was a really easy level. I, again, I shouldn't complain. We have a bandage here. That bandage does not look easy to get. Okay. That might be a bandage that we just want to, you know, um, maybe I'll just wait and grab it with. Yeah, I'm going to grab it with a double jumper. Alright, let's go back to the map. Jump back in the same level. Grab the kid, who is so overpowered in this game, it's ridiculous. Let's see. Double jump. And he, I probably could have just done the A plus with him to be honest with you. I unlocked Run Man from Run Man. I have no idea about that game, so I'm gonna have to figure it out. We'll move on with level 11 here. Well, we have one of these levels where the the um key blocks. How the hell am I supposed to do that one? Where it's a race against the key blocks. I think I have to get up there. I think, um, not entirely sure there, but that's all I can think of unless I'm missing something. Okay. Obviously can't go around the left hand side, not only because of the syringes. Okay. That's the absolute only way I can think of doing this level. Um, Alright, let me wall kick. It won't let me wall kick because as I'm landing on them, I guess I'm not jumping fast enough and they're, they're, they're disappearing as I'm landing on them. There we go. Alright, I think that's the only way you can do that level. I could be wrong, but oh, that's the way I'm doing it. Okay. Wow. No idea how I avoided that. No idea how I avoided that. Alright, which way am I going? Okay, that was really easy. There was a bandage there, so I do have to do this. At least it looked like there was a bandage there. Please tell me I'm not seeing anything. I swear I saw a bandage at the bottom there. Okay, now this level is going to give me problems. I made it through this on the first try, despite the fact that it looks crazy looking. I have no idea how I did it on the first try, to be honest with you guys, but... I'm really glad that I did. Okay. Grab this key. Grab this key. And then don't grab bandage girl. And are you kidding me? So while sliding down the left just to land on that little short ledge that the bandage is on doesn't work. So we're gonna have to figure out something else there short hop from the platform before from this platform probably would work. Okay, time for chomps here. Okay, we don't have to worry about... Oh! 
<laughs> Let's say we don't have to worry about speed, uh, since we already got the A plus ranking, but honestly, if I was holding the run button, I probably would have had that. Okay, time your jump stage. Oh my god. I made that much riskier than I had to. Okay, so if holding dash the entire time doesn't work because then you end up hitting up against that ledge. Why couldn't I why can't I do that? <laughs> okay, maybe if I just run off like that then that may have just given me an idea guys. May have may have, I mean. Probably not. I don't even know if I wanna risk it. I think what the best way of going about it is just uh, doing a run or a jump without holding run and then hold run while you're in mid jump. Damn it! All right, there we go. Thank you. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to cut some of that out there because I had spent way too long trying to get that bandage. Um, I could fast forward it again, but it's not even, it's nowhere near entertaining enough to watch me just fast forward that level. So, uh, yeah, I had to cut it out. I was getting way frustrated, um, more so than on any other level up to this point. All right. This level though, uh, we can stop worrying about that level and let's just move on with our lives at this point. Okay. This level actually, I know a rather neat shortcut that lets you kind of skip a bunch of stuff here. If you use the kid or um, possibly anybody with a double jump, possibly, I think. Alright. I think it's this level. Please tell me it's this level. Is it, is it this level? Yeah, uh, alright. I think I figured it out. I was just screwing it up. Okay. What you can do is double jump up to here, then you don't even have to grab the rest of the uh, keys on the left and the right. You just have to grab the two up here. Or on the key all the way on the right, you can just ignore it. But yeah, it makes for pretty quick times, and it makes the game level so much less frustrating. Alright. So yeah, that was really easy. Um, let's move on with the next level, switch back to uh, Meat Boy. Oh, I feel so much better now that I got that stupid, that stupid bandage that was giving me all those problems. I couldn't believe how long it was taking me. Oh, I got more frustrated with that than I did probably most of other stuff in this game. I got more of this. Alright, there a there's a bandage there. Once I, once my, um, once I caught sight of that bandage, I completely forgot about everything else that was going on in the level and went straight for it. Well, not straight for it. I ran right into the syringes, but I got tunnel vision and completely forgot about what I was doing as Meat Boy. Is what I was trying to say. All right. Yeah, so now that that one bandage is out of the way, we can focus more on the levels here. Alright, looks like you can jump straight down there. It makes it real easy, you don't have to worry about doing any difficult platforming or anything like that. You just drop down and move on with the level. Alright. Yeah, this bandage is nowhere near as frustrating as that last one. And that last one honestly shouldn't have been anywhere near as frustrating as it was anyway. I was just, after the first few attempts where I uh, couldn't get off of that, alright, I'm jumping down the wrong part there, after those first few attempts where I kept nicking the edge or the side or whatever the heck was going on, I just got so frustrated that I couldn't do that level anymore, <laughs> and I started playing real badly. Alright, that one purple guy that's right below that drop is annoying me right now, but that's okay, we're not doing too badly. Um, because of all the stuff that I had, I'm gonna end up cutting it out. I don't know exactly what time I'm at right now, so I'm just gonna keep playing and hope for the best. Grab that key, grab bandage girl, A plus, bandage, all done. Oh my god. Okay, what do we got going on here? Looks like the same level with just the addition of an extra laser. 
Oh, jeez. And Bandage Girl is not in the same spot that she was. Overall, though, not a not a too difficult of a level. Gotta wait for that ba or that laser there, but again, not too bad. We do have a bandage though. That I can me put. Yeah, me put. Can get that. I didn't realize there was a ledge to the left of it. Okay, make our way up here. Take the jump. Oh, jeez. Might be easier to do that with double jump character. And by might be, I mean it definitely probably is. But you know what? Since I don't. Ah, I jumped right into the freaking ra laser blade. Or laser blade, yes. That's what they are now, guys. Laser blades. They're not lasers, they're blades of laser. It's like a razor blade, except more deadly. Okay. Wait for the... Oh, jeez. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I panicked myself. Alright, we didn't get the A+. Plus, so let's grab the A+. Plus. We're going to call it a video after we do that. Hope the A+, plus is much easier than... Oh, I wasn't paying attention as I was talking. I hope the A+, plus is much easier to get than grabbing the bandages. Um, I'm sure it is, because it's the same thing, except without an extra trip. I... There you go, over jumping easy, simple platforming jumps because I forget to let go of the rock bar. And I got caught on the edge. I'm trying to overcomplicate things here. I could just do what I did before and just wait right up here and there wouldn't be any problems, but no. I have to make a mess for myself. I'm gonna wait down here just because. Urgh. And then I'm gonna run off the edge. Uh, just not having a good recording session here. I'm failing at easy things and just getting frustrated in general. Okay, there we go. You can make it right past that. Don't even have to wait. Alright, so what did we finish? We finished up the level 16 there. Um, we got pretty sure we got all the bandages in this level here. We're at 95% complete. Yeah, we're 20 20 bandages in the top right corner there. We have four levels left. We'll definitely finish those up in the next video. Probably move on to chapter 3. See how much of a hard time that gives me. But uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.